Hi everyone, it's Susie Mordo. I am so happy to be here to not only show you the Feel the Love deck, but how you can use it. All right, so here we go. This is how we use it. The deck comes like this. There's three cards that are in the front, these three orange cards. And they tell you a little bit about the story behind the deck, the purpose of the deck, and how to use the deck. Okay? So it's small print. I'm not going to read it all right now, but, you know, they're really pretty when it sits in that blue container. What you do, you take out the rest of the cards. They all have this same blue background, right? It says, feel the love. And I create a little bit of a ritual around it, okay? When I um, figure out what card I'm going to pull, what message do I need to hear? I take it in my right hand, I knock three times, clearing the deck. You might see this on other decks. It's, I, I kind of like it, it's, it works for me. Then I shuffle them. Some people have shuffling rules, how you shuffle, what to shuffle, mix them up, throw them around. I don't really care, I shuffle them up. I'll do a little bit like this, I do it a little bit like a deck of cards. All right, so now they're all shuffled. And the reason to do that is just to touch them all, right? You're getting your energy in all of them. Not necessarily, it's not like um, playing cards where you have to worry about the order of things. And then I spread them out. I'm gonna do it over here because I think you're gonna see it a little bit better. I spread them out. It can be neat, it can be messy, it can be scattered. I generally do it neater than this, but you know, I want you to know there's really no rules. You do it the way you want. And I sort of ask like, What's the message I need to receive? It's Sunday, um, I'm talking to you, and what is it that best helps me to describe this deck and that I could talk about? So here we go. This is the one that I'm coming up with. <laughs> I actually think it's really perfect for this time of year. It says, reflect on your achievements. That's a great card. So what you do is you gather all the cards, you put that in front, and stick it into the box so you can reflect on your achievements. You can throw it on your desk, near your bedside table, whatever is convenient. It's a low tech way to kind of remind yourself throughout the day and kind of unplug and, you know, go within. So what does it mean to you? We're at the end of the year, right? So you got the beginning of the year, the end of the year, and what have you gotten done in this year? And some people like to focus on what they didn't get done or how they feel overwhelmed, but you know what? You got stuff done. Everybody does. And you need to take the time to reflect on that and cheer it on and just honor it. Have gratitude around it. So maybe it was financial goals, maybe it was health and wellness or fitness goals, weight loss goals, who knows? Um, you did it. Maybe it's family, right? You did it. So I'm here to cheer you on and tell you, please, Take a second, take a breath, and look at what you have done, not what you haven't done. Today's card, reflect on your achievements. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, a shift in thought can really change everything. So if you want to get your hands on a Feel the Love deck, just click the link below. Buy some for yourself, buy them for someone else, and if you do that, you'll be spreading the love. And you know that I think there is nothing better than raising each other up.